welcome back to my channel. High Hair is in store for us today. Just need that volume, right? So I have my Velcro curlers. I'm gonna put them in on the side. I know not a lot of women show up on YouTube with curlers in their hair, uh, doing their makeup with no makeup on in their robes, but you know what? We have a we have a special little channel <laughs> showing you in real time, right? I'm getting ready with you. And I want you to see exactly what I do. There are no secrets. I'm giving you all my secrets. This is what I do. I just washed my hair. So my hair is clean. It is freshly blown out. And then I throw these, um, these Velcro curlers in for that extra volume. So when I take these out when I'm done, it is like, wow. So it definitely works. You know that when I have my ladies in for my fierce aging, that they're all with, with, with these Velcro curlers. No one escapes the Velcro curlers. So that's another thing I wanna talk about, ladies. If you are wanting to be featured on my channel, I am casting for Fierce aging. I'm looking for women that are 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s that want to be sharing their beauty with everyone else. I want to see you here in the studio. We are, you know, opening back up since, you know, we're opening back up and doing this beautiful series again, sharing your beauty with the world, sharing your beauty to help inspire other women. Women of age should be celebrated. That's what we're doing today. If we are going to an event, we're doing beautiful, sophisticated, simple, pretty makeup. Now, you might not do as much as I do, but this is basically how I would do thinking, okay, there's going to be photos and I want my skin to look great and I don't want to have, you know, mineral makeup on. So it, when the flash goes off, I look like a, a ghost. I want to basically use the right makeup and I want to have the really beautiful texture and I want to look beautiful in real life. Also, not just for pictures. That's a big one, ladies. You want to be able to come to the cocktail party, the wedding, and people will be like, oh, you look gorgeous. Oh my gosh, your skin looks so radiant. Not like, whoa, how much makeup do you have on? You look like a different person. I can see so much heaviness. We don't want that. That's not the style. So let me go through how you prepare your skin. Not the day of, weeks before, because you want your foundation of your skin, your skin itself to look beautiful. Because your makeup's not gonna look great if, you're, if your skin's dehydrated and it's just dull and you're not like happy with the pigmentation or what's going on. We can help that and we can do that prior to the event. So we wanna, we wanna work this out. Like maybe is it six weeks, four weeks, what, whatever it is what, what you're trying to work on. So speaking of that, I'm gonna show you what I do when it comes to treatments and getting my skin brighter and just really preparing for this event. So I have talked to you about the good genes from Sunday Riley, a wonderful lactic acid treatment I do at night. Again, you might wanna do every other night, maybe every third night, instead of every night until you get used to, does this, you know, how does my skin react? So this is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. I've used this for years, I love it. So this is a really great way to prep the skin for this event. That's number one. Number two, you could do, Caudalie has a Vino Perfect mask peeling. It's a glycolic, it's a 10 minute peel mask. This is wonderful to do once a week and getting ready or twice a week, getting ready for this event. So this is another brightening, really great mask to treat your skin prior to the event. I love doing the Natura Basse. This is a moisture shock. I want that moisture back into my skin. So when I wake up in the mornings and I've had these late nights, you know, editing or my skin just kind of feels like it just needs that boost, I'm always putting this mask on. And I use a mask brush because I don't like using my fingers. It always gets everywhere, all into my cuticles. So I have this from Ever. It's really nice. It's smooth on one side and then it's textured on the other. So you basically pour out your mask and it's so easy, it glides on, you can really get a nice, you're not wasting product, really get a nice application. And then on the other side, you can work the mask in, a little massage for your skin, and then when you're trying to take it off, it helps to break up the mask. So this is a really great brush to use. I love using, I never used to use a brush, and then when I did, I thought, how did I ever apply this mask all over with my hands, it was messy. This is a great one from L'Oreal, picked it up at the drugstore. It's a pure sugar scrub. This is going to be great for your lips to just exfoliate the lips. Remember, we don't want dry, chapped, flaky lips when we're putting on lipstick and lip gloss for an event that does not look good. Don't forget about your nails, your cuticles. I am very big into everything down to my nails. You know that I'm wearing, I always forget to tell you, but I'm wearing this color from OPI called Pale to the Chief. It's a really nice, just nude 
gel manicure and it goes with everything and it's not too brown it's not too pink i love it it's really my go-to so this is a wonderful uh just natural manicure to have also for if you're going to an event and then i wanted to show you what was the other thing that i wanted to show you oh crest white strips these are my favorite glamorous white i use these and they come in uh, i think they're 14 packs so it's like a two week um, treatment and these really do whiten the teeth so that's a really great thing too when you know pictures are going to be happening you really want that bright smile i love using those white strips so cleansing i'm always doing a double cleanse so you want to use a cleansing balm or an oil and then i follow it up with the gentle purifying cleanser from ever this is a salicylic beautiful cleanser i've been using this for five years so i always do a duo especially if you're wearing sunscreen and you want to break that all down you want to do a double cleanse to really make sure you're cleansing the entire face free of everything that has been on it from the day so those are just some things that i wanted to call out again we know we drop everything on the table wanted to call those out for you because oh the one other thing that i'd like to do and i'm going to show you it it's going to be with the ever this is the daytime brightening serum i'm going to use a little of this serum on my skin and i'm going to do some cupping because i want to have that this is right before the event um, before i'm doing my makeup i want to have the blood flow i want to really push my skin to another level so i have the cupping this is glass i get you can get these on amazon i'm basically going to suction and pull out i showed this in my diy facial for cupping this is really there has been so many questions about this but i am literally moving that blood flow i'm going to get that really pretty uh, glow to my face so again i'm just going to you always have to keep this moving that was a little dramatic you have to keep this moving so you're cupping and pushing you're not going to get stagnant those marks that you see on people's backs when you're using this because you're constantly keeping it moving you do not squeeze it and hold it because then you will definitely bruise so this is a wonderful way you can see that blood flow you see the pinkness to my skin it feels so good so this is something that i do do before an event and now let's just jump right into the makeup tutorial i did want to mention if you have a blemish that pops up before an event don't worry i always use the peace out acne they are little dots they're acne dots so you basically peel this off put it stick it on the night before then we in the morning you peel it off and you are amazed that it has gone down or has gone away though these are always in my makeup kit when i travel when i go to events i always have these little acne dots i'm going to start off with going into the contours rx the eyelid exfoliating b5 pads this is a wonderful way to cleanse the eye area if you have oily eyelids if you want your your eyeshadow to stay all day you're all evening you're really prepping and getting ready for the eye and lip primer with using this B5 pad. It's very hydrating. It's going to exfoliate. I can take it underneath my eye also. It's very refreshing, a wonderful thing to have. And they're also individual. So this is really nice also in your makeup bag. Going in with my Bye Bye Under Eye, this is a wonderful soothing, brightening and depuffing eye cream. So I'm going to just put it on right on my orbital bone i don't get too close to my eye area i just want to really hydrate this eye area around here especially and then bring it down i am going to spritz my face with the quarterly the beauty elixir it is so oh so refreshing before i do my makeup i always get especially here i always get really hot underneath the lights and it just gives my just just that burst of hydration i just feel more alive and getting in the, the the event mode going in with my vitamin e treatment for my lips so by the time i put on my lipstick they are primed and prepped and ready to go you can use sunscreen i love the unseen sunscreen for if you are maybe going to a day event you're going to be out if not you don't need to be putting sunscreen on at night this is also the bright eyed 100 mineral around the eyes that i like i've showed you these in my recent tutorials that are wonderful for in a sunscreen i love wearing my deodorant also from quarterly this is an eucalyptus so it's nice and refreshing i like that because usually i'm going to be wearing maybe the dress i'm wearing is a uh, sleeveless so it's nice because it's like very fresh and it's not overpowering to my fragrance that i'm going to be wearing so we're going to take the eye and lip primer this is my first step that i always do prior to my eyeshadow because i want my 
eyeshadow to stay and I also want to get rid of any redness or darkness you can see that it just nicely goes on it's very smooth you don't need a lot of it I take it from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone I did have some redness on my eyes some darkness especially in this inner corner so I like to work the product in the inner corner and then out to the outer part of the eye I'm gonna go in with Let Go, beautiful palette of plums. So I'm in this purple family. I thought this would be really nice with the mauve waterproof eyeliner. And I wanted to do just something that was just pretty and soft. So that is why I chose this. I also have my essential brush kit that I designed for you, nine 100% vegan brushes that I'm using and the foundation buffing brush. Um, also, I wanted to show you, this came, this is, I got this at Sephora, it's called, it's from Cinema Secrets, All Natural Brush Soap. A lot of you have asked me how to clean your brushes. I do have a video on how to clean your brushes, but this is really neat. You just swirl your brush around when it's wet, and on the inside of the cap here, it is texturized. So that's how you swirl it around once the soap's on your brush and it and it dissolves all of the makeup. It's so wonderful. And this smells really beautiful. I think it's coconut. Yes, it has coconut oil in here. It's beautiful. So that's a really easy way to clean your brushes and keep them always ready to be able to use. So I'm just gonna go into the first color here for my all over lid. This is going to be an all sheen palette you're going to see that this is just a very soft sheen so i'm going to go to the base of my lashes and i'm just going to bring it up to right where the crease is i don't want too much because i'm going to go into the crease area i'll just wipe anything off that's a little too much i'm going to go in the crease with a contour color but i could get away with just wearing this color if i wanted to maybe you're very simple you don't want a lot going on just use one color you don't need to always have multiple colors so you can see very pretty very just soft and it has that beautiful sheen to it so it's going to really look nice in the evening it's going to give you that reflective look but not too much not shiny not glittery not sparkly it's just a beautiful sheen so it's not flat and matte i want to make your eyes come alive and that's why i love using a very very soft sheen i'm going in with our tapered contour it's almost like a little pencil it goes to a tip and i'm going to go in with the middle color here that really beautiful plum rolling my brush just softly rolling it i'm going to tap off because this is highly pigmented. I don't want to get crazy. And I'm going to go to the corner and I'm just going to build it up. So I'm building up this shadow in the corner. Remember, nothing's on my skin, so I don't mind. If anything falls, I'm going to clean that up. But I'm going to take the shadow and you can see this technique is a little different than I've done before. I haven't gone into that crease yet. I really want to build this up on the ends. And I'm going to take it down underneath. Remember, this is an evening look. This is going to be just very pretty. I don't want too much going on. So I'm staying in this corner and just building up this darkness. So I have just really worked this in. So it is evening. It's not too much. I haven't gone too high. I just want to have that darker color right in this area here. So I want to really pull out my eye. I'm gonna take my short smudge brush, and I like to call it my eraser brush. I'm dipping into the darkest color. The darkest color has tiny flecks of gold. Very, very beautiful. I'm just taking it to the base of my lashes. I just wanna build that up. I wanna give a little soft diffused liner with powder first, because again, this is evening, but I'm just sticking really close, so I'm adding just a little touch. This is going to be really, really pretty. I'm gonna take it underneath also. I'm not going all the way to the inner corner of my eye. I don't like that look. I just wanna stay three quarters and coming out. So I'm gonna do the other side. Ladies, go as dark or as light as you want to. Again, I'm giving you parameters. I'm showing you what I do, but you can do as light or as dark as you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. These are just techniques. This is just the way I'm applying it to the shape of my eyes. I'm gonna take the All My Pad and I'm going to just take off whatever fell on that outer corner. So I have a little fallout. So you will have that with no matter what shadows you use. So all I wanna do is clean that up because when I go back over with my concealer or if I'm gonna be using just peachy, I don't want it to get involved 
with whatever fell out, then that's when you get that muddiness. That's when you get that darkness on the side. When you get your foundation or your concealer all mixed in with the fallout, you just take it out. That's why I always do my eyes first and then I do my foundation. There's no reason to perfect your skin and then have all this fallout and then have to like, it's just too much work, right? Like you don't need to do that. Do your eyes first. Everything on your face is clean. If you need to add a little bit more eye cream, you can do that. But now you're, you're like, okay, I'm working on my eyes, then I'm gonna perfect my face and it's all gonna come together and I don't have to worry like, oh no, or I have to add a bunch of powder here and then sweep it away. I just think that it's, keep it simple ladies and just really just perfect the skin at the very end. Going in with the mauve eyeliner pencil. This is waterproof, wonderful for an event. I'm gonna curl my lashes first so I don't disrupt my eyeliner once it's on. Lashes are up and you see I have that powder of a liner that's already there. It's kind of gonna be the background of my liner. So it's a little shadow. Then I'm gonna go in with the mauve pencil, taking it to the lashes, keeping it tight, tight, tight. But this is gonna give me that extra special evening look. I had the powder liner, so that's that soft diffuse, kind of like if you were painting a background, you have the, the, the shadowing first, and then you're gonna go in and define it. So I'm just defining with my mauve waterproof pencil right in that tight, tight, tight area of the lashes. You can see I'm moving the lashes around right there. Again, I tell you all the time, I wanna have the tightest liner that really looks beautiful, really defines the shape of my eye, because I don't wanna have heavy eyeliner that comes up here. I want, I want to have as much lid space as possible. And as, as we age, we start losing that lid space. So we really want to keep this liner right in the lashes. So it gives us a really pretty look, but doesn't heavy, like there's no heaviness on our eyes because we're putting too much eyeliner on. I've seen other YouTube ladies over 50 tell you never to use eyeliner. I think that's a big mistake. I think it's a huge mistake. You can apply eyeliner properly over 50. You have to know the right technique. You have to know the right formulation for you, for your eyes. I think not defining your eyes is a very big mistake as we age. We need to have that, uh, that we need to have that defined line. There are things that we can do to really enhance ourselves and being told not to wear eyeshadow or not to wear eyeliner i think it's a mistake just like it's a mistake to say oh you can't wear lip liner hello we lose the definition of our lips we need to outline them to make them come alive there's a lot of things that we need to do as we age and it's not always about okay just don't you can't use that much you don't need to use as much as we did in our 20s but Ladies, there's things that we need to do to really enhance our features because gravity happens, the skin changes, we're working with what's going on. So now I'm going to be putting on my mascara. I'm going to, now that I moisturized my hands, I can't open my, my mascara. Going in with my black mascara, I'm going to go to the base of my lashes and really layer up the mascara so it is heavier at the base, so that's gonna give me more of that definition. And then we're going to just whisk it out to the end. So that's really important because with the makeup lessons I've done here in the studio, I've seen so many women go to their lashes and just do tips like this. You're not, you're missing out on the whole point of putting mascara on. Base of the lashes, wiggle back and forth so you're really depositing that mascara. Almost squint down a little bit and pull up. So you're getting that beautiful mascara at the base and then you're getting it separating your lashes. So this is a wand that I have created for my line that is going to be with all the teeth on it. It's a tiny bit curved and it's flat. So you can really get in there and you're not putting mascara all over your your nose, your face, because you have too big of a fluffy brush, it's depositing too much of the mascara. You get that right, you get that right amount, and you get that real pull out of those lashes. They're just really nice separated. Applying mascara to the bottoms is going to be a personal choice. It's evening, it's an event. I normally don't do mascara on the bottoms, but 
I will for tonight. And also, if you find that mascara moves on the bottom for you, use a waterproof formulation. So you can do a regular water, you can do a regular mascara on the tops and then do a waterproof on the bottom. That's a really great way to work with how your eyes are. Maybe they're a little bit more watery. Maybe you need waterproof for an event. Maybe it's a wedding, you might be crying, you wanna use waterproof. That is a great thing to think about. All right, so now we have brows to do and you notice that I didn't use a brow bone color because I have the eye and lip primer that is basically acting as my neutralizing shadow so I don't have to do anything on my my brow bone if I don't want to I'm going to go in with a little brow fix because I want my brows to be nice and glossed but I also have a couple gray hairs so I want to cover them so I'm just going to comb this up we do have multiple different colors we have clear we have cocoa like I'm using brunette, dark brunette, and we do have blonde. So this is really nice to get your brows to stay up, to look like they have been groomed and colored nicely. You don't have to tint your brows and feel like a slave to always feeling like, oh, here comes another gray, or they don't stand out, or they're too light. Just throw in a brow fix and you are good to go. So lots of things to decide on my face for this evening. Like, what do I want to really do? I want my skin to look absolutely gorgeous. I have a beautiful foundation that I've used once before with you, and I'm going to use it tonight. Um, I do have no redness, but I'm going to use my Just Peachy because I don't feel like I have that much redness. So I'm going to take my Just Peachy and use it as my concealer. I want to brighten up the eye area. So this is going to be medium to full coverage. It's going to really, you can see it's a peach color, so it's going to lighten up my skin. This is how I like to use it. I really want to get that lightness on my skin. I do do more of a triangle because I want that area that has some pigmentation, not too much now. I'm gonna take my foundation buffing brush and I'm going to work it in. You could also take your beauty blender that has been wet and you can push it in. now. Wet is going to give you more of a sheer look to the, the skin, or if you want to use it dry, it's going to be more dense. So if you want to sheer it out a little bit, that's fine, but you can use the Beauty Blender if you want to, different techniques. You can use the foundation buffing brush. I like this because I feel like I can get easier into this corner compared to the Beauty Blender. That's why I like the other tiny ones that you see me use. It's like tiny for the eye area, so I don't have to feel like I'm taking the sponge and the sponge is actually like in my eye. I could use the no redness around, I have redness around my nose area. I could spot treat with that because again, this is an event. I'm thinking about photos. I'm thinking, okay, is my skin going to come through if I don't kind of neutralize it first? So take a little of that no redness, work it into that area that it is that it is a little bit more red. And then I'm gonna go over now with this beautiful foundation. So I use Just Peachy as my brightener because it's medium to full coverage. So I can really build that up and I can get the enough coverage that I'm looking for. If you wanna go into a concealer wheel, you can do that also in a cool undertones or we have warm undertones. So that is also an option. It just depends on what you're really wanting to do and how you wanna feel and how you wanna look and what skin you have. Are you looking to brighten the skin more? Are you looking to cover up more? It just depends. So I'm gonna be using the Dior Air Flash because this is gonna give me an airbrush finish to my face. It's more, it's, it's more event makeup, in my opinion, for being able to buy something and airbrush. Now remember, when I was on location doing so many different weddings all over really the world, I would use my airbrush and that was the only thing I use. I used an airbrush for all of my foundation, whether it was for the grandmothers, the mothers, the bride, I was always doing that. So I do like the fact that this is something that I, is a little different than it than a regular foundation. So you shake it up um, and I'm gonna use my foundation buffing brush. You shake it and then you blow it, or you blow it, you spray it on the brush here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm going to work it into the skin. It is so beautiful, ladies. I really feel that this is worth the price. I bought this at Sephora. This gives you, you can build it up or you can just have a really nice sheer application. But I want my skin to be different than every day or feel like it's gonna break down throughout the evening or maybe it's an outside event and you're like, oh no, it's so humid. Like, I don't want my, my 
my foundation to kind of just go away. I find that this is a very wonderful special event foundation. So I feel that it goes on, it doesn't feel heavy, it's beautiful, it gives a very beautiful satin finish. I think it's something that I always grab when I want to have that elevated feeling, that elevated skin for an event. I know it's going to look beautiful when I see the photographs of the evening. So that is what I have just done, the Dior Flash going on my skin with my buffing foundation buffing brush so you can have you can set your foundation if you want to you can do an hd translucent powder pressed powder or you can do a brightening powder which is called nikita banana this is going to be wonderful which is what i usually use i'm going to just take a just a powder brush and i'm going to just do t-zone and set this beautiful foundation for my blush i'm going to go in with palm beach this is a cream blush i'm going to just have my cheeks come alive a really again i'm going for just pretty soft sophisticated look to my skin and i feel that the cream blush lasts i feel like this is something that if i wanted to add more i can easily do that throughout the evening i'm not adding powders and layers and feeling chalky and feeling like oh my gosh i'm really dulling out the skin i think cream blush really just brings the skin alive it looks like one skin it looks like you're really blushing it's very natural it's very realistic I'm going in with Cameo. This is going to be a really nice lip liner that's gonna go with my lipsticks. So this is one of my favorite colors of lip pencils, very neutral. You can say, see I'm staying neutral with this look. Going in with Nick Ray, which is one of my favorites to wear. And then I'm going to just top it off with Embrace. So I use the Nick Ray as my base of my lipstick for the evening, and then I just touch up throughout the evening with my lip gloss. So I love a gloss lip. I love gloss on everyone. That is my big thing. You know it when you see my fierce aging. I love putting on gloss because it really brings the, the, the face alive. Just like the cheeks with the cream, the, the lip gloss does the same thing. So we're going to be taking out the volume. And it really has to settle down, at least for me, when I take out the, the Velcro curlers. It, it likes to be very big, and then I have to tame it down a little bit. But this is what you want, because you want your hair to be big until you actually get to the event. And then by the time you do, which is usually like an hour or two hours later, your hair looks perfect. So this is what I, is my little secret that I've shared with you multiple times with doing the Velcro curlers. I am so thrilled that I found them <laughs> you know, a couple months ago, I pulled them out and I was like, okay, yes. I can't get this volume with just blow drying my hair. I, I tell you that the, these Velcro curlers are the best invention and I've said it multiple times. So I'll just take my money maker. This is a flexible hold hairspray, which I love. I don't like stiff, stiff hair. So this is from Dry Bar and it smells beautiful also. So that's also a really nice uh, thing to be putting something that you really do like the smell in your hair. So you can work with your hair, do what you feel is going to be the right look for you for the evening. And I'm going to, when it comes to a summer or a late summer uh, event, I like to do the Erin Rose de Grasse, which as you know, I love rose perfume. It smells beautiful, it's a little bit deeper. It's very, very pretty. And recently, you'll be very surprised, ladies, I did buy Erin Wild Geranium. <gasps> It is so beautiful. It's like my day scent right now because it's summer and it's like light, but this is really nice too if you're going to a day event or it's kind of day going into evening. This smells so beautiful. So we'll just add a little bit of that on and then I'm gonna put my dress on and you'll see it all come together. So the look has all come together. I kept my makeup very simple, as you can see, in the sense I'm not doing a loud red lip. I'm not trying to be like over the top because the dress really is the main show. You know from the, it's really about the back detail. This is it's just such a beautiful, simple dress. It's just a little knit dress, but it has all that detail. So I wanted my makeup just to look really just beautiful, polished, simple, not over the top, just using different colors though in the Plum family. And I want you to feel very excited, ladies, when you're going to your event. I don't want you to feel like, oh no, I have this wedding and I'm so nervous about my makeup or how am I gonna look or what about my skin? These are really tried and true from the 
Dior Flash, I know that you're gonna really love that because it's different and it's not gonna break down like your regular foundation and it's something that's elevated. We're doing different colors for your eyes using one shadow. You don't need to use all three. You can use one shadow or two and just really do a practice run before so you know exactly what it's gonna look like. That's my best advice. So if you're using a new product, try it before the event. Don't do it the, the day of and feel like, oh my gosh, I totally don't like this or it's not the right color. So I hope you enjoyed that. And ladies, go forward with your best face ever. Show everyone that you are proud of your age, you're proud of your skin, you're proud of all the hard work that you put in here with me on the channel for your mind, your body, and your soul. And until my next video, I'll see you later.